Dasa for RV and Travel Adventures. It's uh, Monday. It's 100 plus degrees here in a Fort Worth DFW area and it's super, super humid. I just came back from a trip uh, to uh, Lake Whitney State Park here in Texas and it was a very nice uh, three-day trip. It was hot and humid even there and it's even more hot and humid here in uh, Fort Worth today. So uh, one of the issues that I had, I had several issues actually, is that uh, while I was returning, I went over some railroad tracks going about 50 miles an hour. I should have gone 1.5 miles an hour over the railroad tracks. But uh, I didn't think they were that bad, but, uh, but we went boom, 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 and I go, uh oh. So I went to the RV and of course all the drawers, all five drawers in the kitchen area came out. That's how it works. And this is uh, despite the fact that the the, the drawers where I keep my uh, pans and pots, I took everything out of there because I know uh, they're pretty weak. The uh, you know the ability to stay in their you know clothes was very weak because previously they came out and I had to re-glue everything and attach everything and fit some uh, new screws in there, etc. Etc. I had to use some what do you call that? plastic wood putty to fill the hole, and etc. etc. So let me give you a quick tour. And uh, there were some other issues that I had, uh, but uh, we'll we'll delve into them very quickly. And again, I'm going to be working on this. I'm going to have to replace, you know, reattach uh, the supports for the three drawers on the left side. And uh, hopefully, I brought my wood putty this time. We'll soon find out, huh? And, uh, and then I'm going to try to see if I can reinforce it with some wood again. I brought some wood from home, some small pieces of wood that I might be able to use to reinforce the supports. Because uh, the whole thing just went plop on the back. The front, you know, the wood supports for the, for the uh, drawers, the three drawers on the left side of my Rockwood Mini Light 2205S. Not good. Okay, so let's figure out the camera and stop the jibber jabber and uh, see what we have here. So there's my uh, three drawers that came out. Again, three drawers. I had to use uh, <clears throat> my skill and understand that you have to use these little clips here to. Uh... Let me show you. To uh, take them out of there slides and let me show you the slides here they're not secure they're wobbly they've been disconnected from the wall and I'm gonna have to uh, see if I can reattach them somehow I gotta figure out how they are reattached here's some, some information I don't know what this is I have no idea what that is let me, pull that out. Let me stick that back on there. So, again, I, they're supposed to go straight back, but they're going down. And I had to lift them up while, so I could take out these uh, drawers. These three drawers. One person recently asked me, why are Lance travel trailers so expensive? And I said, hey, uh, they don't use scrap wood. Uh, and uh, one screw to hold, or two or three to hold a drawer in. So I've had dr problems with these drawers forever. And again, look at, there's some spots here that I'm gonna have to fix. This is basically plastic wrap, sticker wrap over uh, cheap ass wood, okay? Let me show you something else. Uh, a big chunk of my uh, bottom drawer in my refrigerator broke off and it's gonna have to be uh, I'm gonna have to fix it somehow FYI uh, let me turn around the camera when I got back from my modest little three-day three-night camping trip at Lake Whitney State Park I contacted the folks at Funtown RV which is a local Rockwood dealership and I asked them hey I need some parts for my refrigerator. I need a bottom drawer for my uh, GE refrigerator. 
you know, my 12 volt uh, GE refrigerator. They said, uh, they sent me from one department to another department to another department to another department, and finally I talked to them. I said, we ain't got that. We can't get it. We, it's not in our inventory. Sh uh, read the refrigerator part number. No, we don't. We don't have anything for you. I go. You don't have parts for the refrigerator, the little shelf that I can order from you, and uh, place it in my refrigerator and replace the one I have now. He said, uh, No. Sorry, Charlie. And then I decided to call United RV over there in uh, also in Fort Worth. I think it's a uh, Haltham City and um, they said uh, we've been having problems finding parts for those it's impossible to find parts for those and so they couldn't help me okay so they couldn't help me you know Funtown RV couldn't help me United RV couldn't help me get parts for my just one simple shelf for my GE 12 volt refrigerator so I contacted uh, Anthony uh, Yoder of the Yoder clan over there in uh, Indiana. Uh, essentially the uh, PR dude, contact person that I've had over the last few years for uh, Rockwood and Flagstaff. And he said, hey, um, thanks for giving the information. I'll please contact our parts department. Maybe they can help you. So I'm going to be doing that next. I'm going to contact the parts department at, uh, at uh, Rockwood Flagstaff over there in Shipshawana, Elkhart, Indiana area. Let's see, see if I can get some something to help me out there. Again, uh, let me show you my uh, drawer over here. I replaced these, and they still f flew out. And they and I uh, had some uh, issues, and they flew out. And they have nothing in them. They have two plastic cups, a plastic dish, and a piece of paper. But, uh, you know, they still I had to replace and fix that uh, area there. And it's it can't do be any good for these things to constantly fly out. Everywhere I go, every time from a trip, they go out, out. And again, these flew out. These towels are on the ground because I defrosted my refrigerator after my trip because, of, you know, Etc. Etc. So, what do you think? Let me turn on the camera. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Oh, I have one more complaint. I forgot. I'm gonna turn around the camera again. This came off, and uh, it's uh, a little bit broken. It's right there. It's uh, a little bit broken, so I have to fix it. That goes right there. And it fell off, so I have to get another one of those too. Fun times. So there it is again, another shot of that. So to shoot this video in my RV, I had to turn off the AC and it's 100 degrees outside. It's about 120 inside here in the RV. So hope you like this video. I'm gonna turn on the AC as soon as I end this video. <laughs> I'm gonna start work on this, uh, these three drawers here and see if I can fix them. Brought some uh, extra lumber supports, some uh, magnetic catches, and I hope it works out. I hope it works out. Hope you're doing fantastic. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Woo, it's hot. And uh, please leave your kind and friendly comments below and ring the bell for future notifications from uh, where I have my RV stored in, where am I? in Crowley, Texas, which is about 10 miles away from my home in Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're doing fantastic. Wish me luck on my project. Again, uh, owning an RV, an RV is an adventure. Uh, sometimes you take certain detours that you hadn't planned for. Uh, in a previous video, I said I was planning to go to uh, Baja, California, but I've been in Baja, California in my truck and in cars, and uh, I wouldn't take my equipment. <laughs> light to the Baja because sometimes you have to go off-road to uh, camp down some bumpy road or some of those roads that they call highways in Mexico I remember the one between uh, San Felipe where my brother has a lot of property and Ensenada 
that road was cratered to death. It seemed like a, the surface of the moon. And I remember going, bum, 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 bum. my wife and I go, man, this is a, this is a, actually, I worry about the truck. <laughs> Just imagine taking my travel trailer. So I'm a little bit nervous about taking my travel trailer anywhere down a rutted road. <laughs> Hopefully these magnets help. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them below. I would greatly appreciate it. From Crowley, Texas, where I have my RV stored. It's about 125 degrees inside this RV. I'm going to turn on the AC as soon as I say adios. Gracias. I forgot. I'm starting to get a little weary here. Ooh, dizzy. Uh, gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.